Hello everyone. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mrs. Hoffman. And for those of you that already know me, hi. Oh, I forgot my mask. I need to put this thing on. Why do I have to wear this thing again? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, to keep people safe. I want everyone to be safe. But the thing I don't like about the mask is that uh, you can see my smile under here, which is kind of my favorite part about my face. And it's my favorite part of your face too. So I thought, well, what can we do about art that has a mask? And I thought we could do a self-portrait. Oh, it looks just like me. Um, wearing a mask, a picture of ourself wearing a mask, but then behind the mask, there's like a secret. Oh, look at that. It's a secret part that shows your beautiful smile. And it shows words about what an awesome kid you are. Or grown up like me. And so um, what you'll need to make your behind the mask self-portrait is a piece of paper. You'll need something to draw with. I use a Sharpie if you want to use pencil first and then trace with Sharpie. Or if you want to um, just draw with markers or you choose the media. But something to draw with and something to color with. Okay, let's get started. This should be fun. All right. I'm kind of going to go quickly today. So if you need to stop the video, pause the video. You can always do that and then come back um, and take it at your own speed. Okay, you're going to have the paper to be up and down. You are going to fold the paper up and fold it in half. Smush it flat. Hold it still and smush it flat. Then you'll have an, two open sides up here, okay, and the fold down here. Then you're going to peel this one back, 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 and bring it down so that it touches the fold right there. And smush it flat, hold it still, and smush it flat. Okay. Then you're going to take the top one, and this part is just to make a line on here so you know where your eyes will be and to know where all the pieces fit. Okay. So even though we folded it, now we're going to open that part up because that was just to create a line a fold right there. Okay. So we have one part that's folded down and the other part is laying flat, just like this. Okay. Oh. Hey, you're fine. All right. Now you're going to take your finger and put it right in the middle of that fold. And you're going to make one rainbow on this side to the fold and another one on this side of your finger to the fold, just like that. Now draw a line across the bottom. It even might get a little bit on the edge of the fold. That's okay and on this side too, okay? Now, these are gonna be our eyes. We're gonna make the iris of our eye, that's the colorful part, and a smaller circle inside, that's a pupil, okay? Another one on this side, and the pupil, okay? And I'm gonna color this part in. I'm gonna leave a little tiny bit. That's not colored in, that's my light catcher. Always leave a little white spot in the eyeball, okay? Let's try and match them up size-wise. That's a little closer. <laughs> okay, now eyelashes if you want. Don't have to have eyelashes if you don't want to. All right, then some eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Can help you have expression on your face. Especially when you don't have a, um, when we can't see your face because of the mask. All right, right up here, a little dot, right in between the eyebrows up above. That's your hairline. And then we're gonna draw a line from the side of your eye, curving up, 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 to that dot. And the same thing over here. Side of your eye curving up, 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 to the dot. Okay. Now think about your hair, your texture of your hair, your um, style of your hair. I have hair that goes on my forehead, so I'm just going to kind of draw a zigzaggy line right here. And my hair kind of comes back and over. And back and over. I'll talk to you a little bit about different kinds of hairdo in a little bit. Okay. I'm also going to draw my ears. A little half rainbow right here and a little half rainbow right here. Okay. 
okay, now my chin, a little dot right there in the bottom of the middle of this paper here. And then I'm going to draw a curving line up to the side of my face right there. And another curve. And if this is going too fast, of course, pause the video. We could dot right here just below the fold. Okay, just below that fold. And now I'm going to go from the side of the face, lightly curving, very flat curve to the dot. And then from the dot to the other side of the face. Now I have a mask. Okay. I'm going to draw two short lines down to the bottom of my paper. That's my neck. And then I'm going to draw the rest of my hair hanging down. Doo -doo -doo. And the rest of my ears. And the rest of my ear. And the rest of my hair on this side. Okay. All right. Maybe you have a different hairdo. So let me show you some different styles of hair. All right. Starting again. You don't do this. You have your paper already folded. Okay, I'm just getting caught up now so I can show you a different way to draw hair. Let's see. All right, we have finger in the middle. Rainbow, rainbow. Oop, that's a little. I, 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 I. Okay, eyebrow, eyebrow, forehead, and over. Okay, let's say that you are a boy. Let's say that you have short hair. That's easy. We're just going to draw a little bit of short hair texture kind of going across. Maybe a little bit down below the hairline. Coming over. Maybe uh, you have glasses, right? Maybe you have a different direction of hair like this. Maybe it kind of goes over to the side. You decide. You know what your hair looks like. You can draw it how you want. Maybe if you're a girl, let's say you have pigtails and you want to draw some where pigtails kind of coming up over here. That's all up to you. Let's say you have glasses. This one's a tricky one. I'm going to come back to this part in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do a rainbow around the eye. But it's tricky because it's covered up by the mask. So we're going to have to draw this on the opening, the bottom of the glasses down there, right? Okay. We'll come back to that one. Now, maybe on this part, I can decorate my mask. I did a bunch of flowers on that one because that's my favorite mask that I have has flowers. I have another fun one that has art supplies. I've seen so many masks. There's come in like every color and every design that have sports things on them and words. Mrs. Armstrong has one that has a licorice rainbow on it. There's so many cool ones. Okay. Open your paper up like this. If you're not done designing your mask, that's okay. You can come back to it later or pause the video. At the middle fold right here, make a small dot right above it. This is your new chin that you're going to draw. So just like how we did down here, we're going to draw this again. Coming up, 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 and around to the side of the face. Up, 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 and around to the side of the face, right there. Now that's our chin and our cheeks. Draw the rest of your ear, both sides. Maybe I just want a little bump nose. Maybe a big smile. Oh, yeah. Maybe I like to do sometimes a tongue. If you made those hearts, the Chris Uffuse hearts, they have a little tongue like that. Maybe you want to do your smile. Maybe if the tooth fairy came, maybe you might have a little black space in your smile. A lot of times that happens. Okay, and then my neck, I'm going to draw two lines coming down, and then a little swooping line here. I'll draw the rest of my hair on this part. Okay, now I have a space right here. This, as you can see, this part is the part that's covered up. There's all this space here for me to write words. And maybe you want to switch to a pencil to practice your words and make sure that they're spelled right and um, that they look good before you sharpie them. But I'm going to go ahead and write some different words um, that I know. Maybe you want to do bubble letters. Some of you guys are so good at that. All right, I'm going to write creative, calm, 
I'm trying to keep my words below the eyes and above the mask. I don't want them to go down because then it will mess up the, um, the design. It will have like a little bit of a word peeking out here or here. So I want to keep them in this little space. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, caring. Oh, I have all C words here. Let's see. How about, um, oh, sometimes it's hard to think of a good word. How about awesome? <laughs> That's a good word. I'm awesome and amazing. I have all C and A words. Isn't that funny? Okay. And then maybe you want to make some little designs in the background, maybe some cool little patterns. That part is up to you. The things that you really want to show are going to be in marker. And then the other things, maybe radiating lines or things like that, can be in crayon. You can do your very best job um, of coloring. So maybe you want to add a little bit of shading by pressing hard and pressing soft. I'm just using good old school crayons. I'm sure you guys, if you went to Woodland, you recognize those. Okay. And so maybe I'm, you know, for my eyes, I might press hard because I know there's only a small space and I want it to be dark brown and show up. But then for my hair, I have some gray hair mixed in there, so I'm going to leave some white spots where my gray hairs are because they're not actually gray. They're really white. And I'll leave a little gray spot there. Splash white. And you guys are going to laugh, but my peachy crown is really small. But this is a color I'm going to use for my skin. I can do this. Pressing hard. But then when I get to my cheeks, maybe I want to press a little bit more softly. I'm going to add a little shading on the edge of my face and then let it get lighter as it goes into the middle. Okay, you can decide how do you want to color yours in. How do you want to design your, your words and make them look awesome? Okay, let's talk about these glasses. I said I was going to um, show you how to do that. Okay, oh, whoops, we never drew our mask on this guy. Fine. Line. Maybe this one has stripes. Stripey. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the bottom of the ear. Okay. Glasses time. Okay. Just draw. I forgot to draw the bottom of the eye. Draw the bottom of the glasses down here. These are some <laughs> kind of big ones. Just like that. Okay, and then I have my little dot there, if you remember. Bring my chin down. Maybe this one I have a little sideways nose, a little question mark nose, upside down question mark. Maybe I have a sideways smile. Say hi, yay. And some teeth. Maybe I have the tongue on this one, just like that. Maybe a little dimple. The neck. Okay, this one is smart. Funny and artistic. And thoughtful. This is a hard one to spell. And oops, I forgot the bottom of those ears. Let me think of a different word. Um, sporty. Okay, and then I can make my different designs on here. This is a way that we can get to know each other better by learning about different um, qualities that we have and we can see what the other one looks like. And boop, boop, boop. And have a little fun drawing a self-portrait. Okay, when you're finished, here's what I would like you to do. Uh, on the on our media album, I would like you to upload a video of yourself with your self-portrait closed next to your face to see how did you do a good job to make it look like you. And then open it up and tell me the words that you wrote about yourself describing yourself behind the mask. Okay, I can't wait to see.